Hey guys, welcome, and let's try Tricone Lab. It is built as a lateral thinking game, it has a, an interesting- It seems to be about, like, cell creation, and membranes and everything like that, and, and like, cell walls, and particles, and... It actually has an online level editor. It's currently in beta, as shown by the 0.16 beta down here. I believe they said that it's it, let's see, it's going to launch November 12th, I believe, as, on Steam Early Access, and they're they're predicting something like a three to six month period of being in Early Access before they can go live. Let's give it a shot. I haven't played a puzzle game on the channel for a while. All right, click here. Oh, that's a level selector, apparently. Okay. So. Drag from here to here. And now they are one. Then drag from here to here. And then to here. And now I made those three colors together. Oh, because down here my objective is to make red, green, blue, all attached to one source. Then you double click. Hey, level created. So I was trying I guess I was trying to print that. Interesting. So they're probably gonna have a few levels of tutorial because this game. From what I've seen from the Steam page alone, it's just like, well, this is strange. So let's figure out what's going on here. So I just have to draw these things together again. So can I just go around? It appears you can just go around the environment as much as you want. So as long as it's contained within the same cell membrane, you're good. All right. Just double click the print. You don't have to wait for it to come back. All right. This could probably be a really zen, like, chill-out kind of game. So let's grab the three colors real quick. But there's twice as many here. Do I- looks like I have to make two? Yep, it looks like I need to- I need a new copy of each one to print a second time. There we go. Quick introduction- uh, quick in introduction of different mechanics. First breaker. Alright, double-click this membrane to destroy it. And then you do that. Got it. So you can destroy walls. Probably can create walls too. Second breakers. Alright. Is there any specific order I want to do this in? Or is it just do whatever I want, really? Bam! All the membranes are dead. For the purposes of just printing a few things, the walls don't seem to offer much of a puzzle. But I assume... Yes, go ahead and load the next map. I assume that an actual thing is going to come up that's going to incentivize keeping l walls alive or dead. You can move breakers. Oh, cool. So that's where some of the puzzle might involve be involved too, is that you can't just destroy walls, you need breakers to do that. I like that you can double click as fast as you want and just move on with the objective once you have it solved and not wait for an animation to play out. That's nice to have. Ooh. This seems like a bit of a conundrum. So we can't reach that, obviously, because there's a wall in the way. But this breaker... Let's see... Gets destroyed when it destroys that piece of wall. At which point you lose. So you restart. And then you're like, how do I get around this? Can I destroy the outside? I, s I assume not, because that's like the entire world in this game. So now the question's gonna be, how do I... Huh. I actually immediately am not sure what I'm doing. I feel like a slightly crazy person at the moment. So this can't get out of the bubble. This can't escape. And this can only attach to that wall. So what am I missing here? It says describe. No information available yet. Alright. Stats. Players who played this level 24. Players who complete this level 23. <laughs> One person gave up. Average attempts to complete. Mean a total time to complete, 31 seconds. Oh cool, so I'm an idiot. <laughs> what am I missing here? Okay, you can just go through walls. We learned a thing. And it didn't even have to tell me how to do it, unless it told me how to do it. I don't think it told me to do it. If you think you made a mistake, you can redo to reverse your last action. You can also use restart to begin the level again. So, redo is probably one of the buttons that pops up on the side of the screen. Oh, there we go. Y. Or Z, Y is redo, undo. Okay. So. Specific things that need to happen. I have three breakers. And I need... Let's see. So, I need a blue for that one. 
So since that one needs a blue, we'll we'll, move, we'll take the breaker through the wall. Why won't it? Work? Oh, we learned a new thing. The number of things around the breaker is how many times it can go through a wall. So this one with the three on it is the one I have to use for this one. So that one's printed. That's one down. And then this one can go through one wall. This one can go through two walls. Break accordingly. There we go. You also could have figured out based on not just the uh, color of the, the number of things on the breaker, but the color of the thing contained matching up with which one actually is missing that color, I'm sure. This is doing a decent job at being a tutorial without actually sitting there and being like, all right, um, we're going to carefully explain to you every mechanic. It's like, no, click on that thing. And then after a few levels, they're like, they didn't even tell me to click on things anymore. They're just like, no, nah, you, you, know, you know what to do. Okay, so we have two breakers. I need, to I need to contain... This has to attach to that. This has to attach to that. So we just need to break the right things around here. Let's see. One, two, three. So it should be able to get through that wall and go break this wall, right? Unless it can't bond at that point. Let's see here. I think... Oh! So I, th I don't think you can even bond with the wall once you have one less thing circulating around it. So the obvious thing would be to go down here, but it has three membranes. But this has three membranes and then it hit the goal. So I could actually, and I would free this one so it can go through here. Oh yeah. I can tell how the complexity will rise pretty quickly in this game. So you're printed. You go through. There we go. And everyone's happy, except for when I misclick. There we go. I like this game. I think I like this game. I would I would be shocked if it doesn't come out on like on phones because it clearly has a control scheme and giant buttons that is pretty applicable for using a touch screen. And this would be the if I was someone who played games on phones, I could see myself playing this on the phone, but also I could see myself playing it in general. It's just it's it's just I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I started having the thought process of like yeah, what do pe people people use phone games for reasons, right? Um, let's see. I need to plan this one out a little bit. So everything is hanging out right next to the thing it has to be attached to, and there's no ambiguity about what needs to reach what because they're mutually exclusive. That thing already has a red. Here's a red. That thing already has blue and green. This there's blue and green. So we know who has to go where. So this wall has to be destroyed, and that wall has to be destroyed, and everything else is up for interpretation. So, this thing can go through three walls, one, two, and then get stuck somewhere. Which won't help us, because it blung this up wall, this wall here isn't as useful. So presumably we have to go one, two, three. So I, I'm thinking one of these things has to destroy the wall over here, so it can reach its goal. And I may have already made a mistake. One, two, three. I have to reach that one, too. Huh. One, two, three. One, two, three, four in. Okay. That one's a little bit tough, isn't it? Let's go ahead and undo. All right, I think we have our first real puzzle where we have, have to actually solve something, and I'm immediately failing, apparently. So, that destroying that one was not the proper reaction, apparently. Oh. Oh, I think I already figured it out, actually. All right. I have to use the three to free the other two. Which gives them the ability to both go through the two membranes they need to reach their objectives. There we go. There we go. The game is increasing in difficulty at a satisfying rate, where you don't get totally stuck, but you also still have to start thinking about each one instead of just being like, That's the thing I do. Key, key, uh, key gain, Tricone. You have gained the Tricone key. Gaining keys unlocks the new maps to play. Now we can go to back break, uh, Breaker Maker. We've been to Breakers and Tricone. And there's gonna be more and more levels here. Oh, a lot of them. The game did say it ships with like a hundred maps, or, or maybe it currently has hundred maps, and might, maybe it might have more later. Do a cancel real quick. Let's see, load map. Can I go on... At what point in the menu am I right now? I don't, I don't want to accidentally close the game. Uh, let's just stick with the main campaign for, for now. 
Even if there are custom maps already in existence, which I don't know if they are, there are yet, uh, I wouldn't want to make the mistake of uh, charging headfirst into a bunch of custom maps that I'm sure would use a hundred mechanics I haven't even met, met yet. So these things meet each other and something happens? What have I done? Oh, that's how you make a breaker, is you combine those things. Good to know. So now we have a breaker printer. Oh yeah. This is gonna get to space chem levels of complex, isn't it? <laughs> the describe action gives you information about the selected node. As you complete more levels, more information's added. Make break. Definitely reoccurring names here. All right, so. Oh. We're in separate membranes, that's interesting. So this will give it a three. Can I go between membranes like that? Oh, I can. I'm free to come and go as I please. All right, simple enough tutorial level again. Mobility choice. What do we have here? So. Okay, so I can print these things, but specifically one of them is a two and one of them is a one. I don't see any reason not to print them both right away, though. As far as I can tell, you can just go ahead and print them both, and it's no big deal. So that's not a thought. That's not something to think about yet. So this this needs to be joined with that. That needs to be joined with that. This one requires two to reach this wall. So that's where this one's going to go. They're just teaching me to be thoughtful about my process here. Because the first fear someone would have in this game would be like. Oh, I'm just dragging things to things. This is mindless. And then a, m a second later, like, nope. Here's the process you have to figure out. There's a sequence to all this. And it only works in that order. So there's a bunch of parts here that'll give me more pieces of breaker. But I don't have access to it unless I... Oh. i gonna just undo that little mistake there. There we go. So I believe this one is going to just have to blow up this wall because it's the only moving part I have access to right now. What year printer? Did I get mixed up there? I, could, I totally got mixed up for a second there. I, I, for a second there, I thought that was the explosive printer. So that can only reach this wall. Is there a reason not to just do that? I think it's just safe to blow things up right now. Oops, got stuck. There we go. All right, straightforward enough. They're just showing me the sequence to follow, basically, like, printing things in specific orders, blowing something up so you can gain access to more parts, and so on. Next mobility. What do we have here? So, you can already print, right? Yeah. I don't see a reason not to immediately do that. So what order do I want to do this in? On the left, it'll let me destroy one. And on the right, it'll let me destroy two. So I probably want the left one first, right? Oh. It to go through to... Yeah, so if I destroy this one, it'll give me the one, which will destroy this wall, which will give me the two, which will destroy these two walls. That's not explosive. Try that again. There's a sequence here, because I think I would get... I think I would get stuck if I didn't do that in, the, in that order. Which is how you puzzle, so that's fine. And we're free. It's satisfying being able to just rapidly click through everything instead of waiting for the animations to play out. And just let the- just move on to the next sequence. Alright, I think this is gonna be the ooh, difficulty 2 out of 5. I think I'm just gonna finish up this little world here and then we're gonna move on. But this will be a nice little preview and you guys can check this game out in November when it launches and make your own levels if you want to... cause... I don't know, inflict pain upon other people, because I know some of you. Some of you are cruel people that want to make horrible things that people get very frustrated with. And the complexity of this game looks like it might fulfill your uh, diabolical wishes. This mission already is like, what's going on? So I need to combine these two to there. Or there are non-linear decisions here, but it seems reasonable to connect them to the closest ones. Like destroy this membrane, destroy this membrane, destroy this membrane. Let's see, would this destroy... I assume that if I destroyed this, this would still be a cell on its own. It wouldn't, like, break the whole line or anything. So, I destroy those four, those two and those two. I have a number of people to help me out with that. But I need to be careful what order I go in. 
or I'll get myself trapped. I think I want to free these two first because everything's over on this side and then we can go through the opening we create and go through and open up the other side. For example, going through, if this one's destroyed, I go whoop, one. That didn't quite go the way I thought it would. Let's see. Well, that's, oh, these ones are threes. Okay. So this one could go one, two, three, blow up that wall. Then this, this other one can go one, two, this will go be gone now, and three. So I just need to blow up the mem- this one in particular needs to blow up this wall to free that open. And this one needs to connect to this other wall. And that frees this tricone to be formed. I used the terminology of the game finally. I think I did use it correctly. It's called Tricone Labs and there's little tr three things around the map, so I assume those are the tricones. I know it's, it's a crazy unreasonable assumption to make, but I probably nailed it. There we go. Get out of here. Make your beautiful colors. I love puzzle games. It's one of the unexpected things for a lot of people because I played so many RPGs on the channel and a few horror games that it, people get caught off guard sometimes when I'm like, oh, let's just zen and play, try to solve a weird complex, complex thing. I'm going to have to stare at this for a moment because what am I looking at? So there's, t there's two source blocks that are uh, two movement blocks. And there's three movement and then two more single movement ones. All right, I think the real puzzles are starting in this level. This is going to be where it starts getting more difficult. I wonder if those are all the mechanics or not, or if they're gonna ha if there's more they want to add later. So, can I make a single destruction thing yet? Oh, there, there is one already in existence. So that's the generator, and that's the generator. Both generators don't have all the parts they need, so that's not gonna happen. Huh. This might be one where it's better to just start doing it, and let myself fail, rather than stare at it too long at the beginning. So then I can assess, I can assess what I did wrong. Oops. Part of me does kind of wish, as just a minor thing, of like, if everything... This might just be my own personal thing, it might not even be like a reasonable thing to say, but... If everything's in one membrane, I kind of wish I could just double click on the thing right away without drawing the lines to begin with. It's like, yeah, those things are attached. I, I, eh... I guess it's not a reasonable assumption, actually, because... There's times where, like, multiple different movement things could be in the same tile, and you'd have to pick... It'd be important to pick which one, so never mind. That's not a good idea on my part. And I think this was not a good idea on my part, because I did not create a solvable solution, so we're going to restart. So I think I think creating this, uh, building this other one's actually the best first start. It seems to be the right move at the beginning. The increased mobility, because those ones were clearly trapped. So now, with that built, I am free to... So this, this membrane has to be destroyed, and these... Membranes have to be destroyed. Every membrane has to be destroyed. Okay. Now that we've processed that information, because we have to get all three of those things out, and they can't go through walls, and this looks like a giant Binding of Isaac turd with googly eyes. Minor, just minor aside. Googly eyes and a pimple or something. Uh, <laughs> so I need to plan this out in a specific sequence where every time I blow something up, I'm joining other things together that can blow other things up so that we don't get trapped. If I, if I go over here, one, two, three, and blow this up, it'll create two bombs. One can blow up this one, and the other one can blow up this one, which would attach it to these guys, which would let me blow up that one, which would give me two more ammo. Okay, I figured out the sequence. Basically, it's just make every plan. Always plan out your, your steps so that you're not going to have your... You're not going to run out of bombs. I accidentally right-clicked there. Apparently, that opens up a menu. What does it do? Call a cell region and describe. All right. Oh, you can right-click on cell region, breaker cut. Okay, you're right-clicking on objects, and you can tell it to describe you what that object is. That's a nice touch. Connect a few things. But I just want to keep creating bombs and blowing up walls, but only if the bomb's going to unlock the ability to make another bomb, which I'm just calling instead of what they're actually called, apparently. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. There we go. I did it! Alright, the challenge is beginning. Breaker Fork. What is this one? Alright. Alrighty. I'm ready for you. I hope. 
This one has to- this one needs a green and a blue. Hello, green and blue. I mean, green and blue. I just completely misrepresented that one. Uh, there's also a green here. All three- all three colors are in here. So, red, green, blue. I mean, red, green, blue, and then red, red, green, blue. Both three on the outside, three on the inside. My existing bombs are here. Ah, uh, I need to specifically create a sequence. So there's, the movement tiles are here, movement tiles are here, but, just, uh, the actual f other forming tiles are here, so I need to make sure that those are acquired at the same time. So, for example, unlock one movement and one... Thankfully the builder's here, so I don't have to plan for that much. So let's blow up one, oops, one of each of the types that generate these bombs, and see if this creates what I need to proceed. Don't know if it will. It might be smarter to... Ah, oh, they're all twos, though. Maybe they're just not making movement the restriction in this map. Let's build our bombs and see if it, how it plays out. Let's just have a little bit of confidence and not overanalyze whether or not I've already ruined everything for everybody. You know? You know? Alright. Bombs are out. And I see my mistake. I have left myself with two bombs and three membranes to destroy. So I need to create a better plan of how to approach that. Probably involving blowing up the interconnecting... the interconnections between these things. Alright. You've successfully gotten complicated. You did it. Stats. People have played this level 14. People completed it 12. Ooh. This level shaved off two people, either because they couldn't beat it or because, I don't know, they just stopped for the day, perhaps. It is, there's something kind of novel about being one of such a small number of people who have actually gotten to play a game so far. Alright. So, planning time. I need a plan. Plans need to happen. I'm saying words that don't matter right now. Um... How do I unlock both this and that, basically, without creating a bad situation for myself? Maybe the first step isn't where I went wrong, necessarily. Let's see. So we have basic supplies here. And now we just need to choose carefully what we're gonna blow up. That was probably a mistake already, wasn't it? I'm starting to think that maybe I want to work my way around the outer rim. This is one of those levels where I can, I can imagine someone being agonized by the fact that I haven't figured it out yet. Let's pick a different starting plan here. I think the last one might be the one I can ignore the longest. The middle- First of all, let's find out what happens when I do this. Oh yeah, it just forms one single membrane. Okay, so there's no inner structure sneakiness that's gonna go on here. Essentially, there are three- there's six membranes on the outside and one on the inside. And every time you destroy one, the entire outer bubble dis uh, disappears, but no inner structure is lost, because that's how it all is held together. We have one, two, three, four, five, six bombs. Which... Basically means I have to pick... One thing not to blow up, is that right? Huh... How do I take out... I'm a little bit confused by this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cells. One, two, three, four, five, six bombs. Do I want to destroy the outer membrane? I don't think you can in this case, or most cases. What am I doing wrong? Is there a single, is there a single thing I can get away with not blowing up? So to be clear, the corner on the screen says, destroy, you need, you need to build three tri tricones. So you can't ignore any of these three things. And there's six remaining parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're all in every cell. So as far as I can tell, every single cell is mandatory. You have to blow up every cell to get access. But also... Ah... I feel like a crazy person right now. What am I missing here? There's seven cells, six bombs. And I don't see any patterns that would trick anything. Like, I can't go like, hit and attach to that wall or anything. So that's not the secret. So what am I not piecing together here? 
What am I not doing correctly? Also, what purpose does this thing serve? That's interesting to me. There's a thing that lets you build cells over here. Why would that exist? Unless I could successfully attach things together. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, you don't destroy this membrane here. That's interesting. So I destroy you, it gives me things that can move two at a time. Oh, so this one needs to destroy one that gives me access to these little legs. I think I just figured it out finally. Okay, that one that one got me for a little bit. You you don't destroy this this central membrane for a bunch of this stuff. You just sort of sneak your way in and build bombs from in here. And that did not quite work out for me. I need to plan differently, because I don't have legs now, is what I'm gonna call them apparently, the staircase icons. Alright. Actual puzzles are happening, I guess. Uh, so, what do I want here? What do I do about this? So, th I want to destroy this one instead. From the outside. Because, when given the materials... Yeah, now I can create two, two bombs that go through walls, and use those to destroy the membranes that attach to both parts required to build bombs. This one really got me for a moment. This one really got me for a little bit. So there we go. Now we have our two bombs, and now we can attach them to... That's not it. Two... Okay, what two things do I want to blow up here? Um, did I mess up again? I'm getting my... I'm getting destroyed by this, aren't I? Alright, so... You're built already. I'll just let, I'll just let that happen and celebrate for a moment. Uh, oh no, I'm good. Overthink... just hadn't thought it through yet. Once again, just don't destroy this membrane. Blow up these walls, and suddenly all of our parts are right here. Everyone's happy and complete. And we did the level! Wow! That got harder. Did I just unlock a new thing? What's that icon? Key gained. You've gained, you've gained the key, uh, breaker key. Now we can do anti-catalyst, balance, and transporter. So if you get a load map, you get to... Yep, I, it starts opening up and non-linearly where you can do a whole bunch of different worlds all at once. Alright. This game's gotten compelling, and there's, there's also like more bonus levels down here too. Difficulty 3 out of 5. Alright. So now we've seen how this game can actually get a little bit more complicated. And maybe that was easy for someone in the audience and they were just screaming at me, it's entirely possible. But yeah, this seems like a, ni a neat little, uh, indie puzzle game. It's coming out in November, on Early Access, on Steam, so be, able to ch be, be sure to check it out then. And, hopefully, uh, it'll have a nice successful little run in Early Access and, and be one of those, like, success stories that actually gets completed and has a cool, like, community behind it, because and a puzzle game with a level creator. We've learned from Portal that can have some spectacular or, or and or disastrous effects if you uh, have blood pressure problems. So, thanks for watching guys like always, and I will see you next time. This has been Tricone Lab.